In this video I'll be taking a look at another Ethernet power line adapter. This product is from Netgear and it is the XET1001. They're rated a little slower than the Zyzel that I did, 85 megabits per second. So here is the unit, some venting on the side there, indicator lights, some more venting. There's the port and it appears that it won't interfere with the top outlet okay now I'm gonna go set these up in a couple of different scenarios and we'll do some transfer testing okay so I came in plugged this one in plugged it into the router and it just started going then I came over, plugged this guy in, instantly they found a connection. This is the same circuit in the same room. So they instantly found a connection and I was up and running. So what I have going on now is I'm transferring a one gigabyte file across the network uh, from my Windows home server. And we're not doing so hot one single file 485 kilobytes per second so we're not we're not doing that great 85 megabits per second would be 10 megabytes and we're seeing less than half a megabyte per second so this is pretty slow i mean it's it's solid it's not fluctuating much but still pretty slow So unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be any better. I'm about to switch over to the smaller file size. Um, I'll probably transfer like some NES ROMs or something that get a lot smaller. And I don't think this is going to fare well. But let's check it out anyway. Now we're transferring over a lot of small files, some NES ROMs. And we're dropping below 400 kilobytes per second. It started off a little higher, it was about a half a megabyte a second, and now we're, you know, as you can see in the 370s, which I imagine it's probably going to hover between the 370s and 400 kilobytes per second. Still blinking away. I checked on my home server, it's not doing anything else. That's my first thought was maybe it's doing something else. Uh, it's not. My network is... This is it. This is all that's going on in my network right now because I wanted to double check to make sure there some, wasn't something else that was interfering. But this is all the network is doing and it's not doing it very well. Or rather, these Netgear adapters are not doing it very well. So, now let's stress it even more and I'm going to go into another room in another part of the house on a different circuit and we will see how much worse this can get. So now we're in the other room on another circuit, different part of the house. And the big file is really doing poorly. So it's hitting that 275. When it first started, it did see 350. It's just not performing. Plain and simple. So let's just go ahead and beat it up even more and start the small file transfer and see what happens. Although I have a pretty good feeling I know what's going to happen. And then here we are with the NES ROMs transfer. And we're in the 230 kilobytes a second. 220. Not looking good for the Netgear adapter. Oh, there we go, even low 200s. Yeah. So anyway, not a real solid performer. Again, I'll say it. But I'm going to beat it up even further and try out a different test. So I attached it to a surge protector. And then plugged it into the wall. And it completely kills it. Which I figured it would, because I've heard that most surge protectors uh, destroy the 
power line ethernet connection. I am mistaken. It has picked up the 2-wire 463, which is my router, but still no network access. So I'm going to guess that it's able to detect the network, but not make a solid enough connection to get uh, consistent access. Because that is the name of the router. And it looks like it may still be trying to work, but I've given it over a minute now and it hasn't connected. So I'm going to guess that we're just not going to be lucky. But like I said, it is a surge protector and they are known to kill these things. Now I'm in a different part of the house on a different sub panel like I did in the Zyzel testing and we're not gonna make not gonna make the connection here I don't think which is perfectly fine connected to unidentified network okay so that means it finds the power line adapter but there's gonna be no network connection so okay now let's wrap this up Okay, so we're finishing up on these Netgear adapters here. This is the XET1001, and I can't recommend it. Um, you know, it's just it's too slow. I never expect to hit what the box says anyway, because I think that's kind of inflated and it's in the perfect world uh, configurations. Um, but I, unless you were transferring just an internet connection, and you were, you know, a slow one like myself, uh, I have a 1.5 uh, megabits per second down, you know, I think it would do that just fine. I mean, it would. Um, but if you start getting faster than that, 5, 10 megabits per second, I just don't think these things would even keep up with, uh, with that. I don't. I just, even in the same room on the same circuit, I was not seeing uh, anything that I like to see, you start getting farther away, and it got considerably worse. I just can't recommend this product whatsoever. There are way better ones out there for a little more money, uh, maybe even the same money. The Zyzel I reviewed a few weeks ago, that one did considerably better, and it wasn't much more expensive, another $20, $30 maybe, and I was able to get awesome transfer speeds um, considering. But yeah, so anyway, don't buy this guy. Find something else a little better. I don't know if a different, uh, maybe in the Netgear line has a, a different, um, maybe a different model would do better. But uh, this guy here, no way. Unless you were just doing a slow internet connection and you weren't trying to transfer files. Uh, maybe if you were doing uh, gaming between two computers that this would work because you, you don't have to transfer that much data between two computers while playing games together. But other than that, yeah, I, I would just save my money for a better product. Thank you for watching.